Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. And this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So without further delay, let's start the today's topic. And today we are creating this video and we are going to talk about the test case in Azure DevOps from LCS, how we can create. And this is part of our functional consultant series where we talk about the different skill set which are required other than the product knowledge to have to become the functional consultant. And we started talking about the different test strategy, test types and all those things. And the last video which we talked about that how do you create your test plans and the test cases manually in the Azure DevOps. Now in this video, we will be talking about how those test cases can be created uh, using the task recorder through the LCS2 and can be synced with our Azure DevOps uh, and the, against the test plan or test suites which we have created in the previous video. So let's start with this video today. So if I move to the next one, so what you require is basically first your LCS project uh, should be configured with the Azure DevOps. You also need to have a BPM library for your project so you can create your own process library. You can import from APCQ like your standard library which is available as part of LCS. And I think I feel now it should be updated and we can import our own library or the process library based on the business process catalog which Microsoft has released and that can be used. And the, then you also have an option of reviewing the process library. So basically what I'm talking about is that before you start creating the test cases and if you remember last time which we discussed that your each test case which you create, it should be against either a process or the requirement because that is what you are testing. You need to be very clear that what you are going to test it against what you are testing it. So that is why it is very important that you have the process library and there are different ways to create your process library. You can import directly to Azure DevOps and you can create in BPM then then you can sync with your Azure DevOps. But then important thing is that how do you create the test case using the task recorder and then how do you upload it and how it gets converted into the test case in Azure DevOps and then how do you link with your the test suites which you have created in the system. So Let's move to the next one. I feel this is this better defines your the kind of a process. So you have BPM library. You need to record the test case using the task recorder. Save the L save to LCS or download as AXTR file. Upload it against the process for which you have created this. And then you have this sync with your Azure DevOps and then you can link the test uh, test case with the test suits or the test plan which you have created. So let's move first talk about and discuss about the BPM library. Just to be clear, I have heard that there are some changes because we know that LCS is going to be migrated to one platform, unified platform concept, like it is going to be a power platform admin center. So I have not got an enough information that how this BP business process libraries are going to be managed as part of that. If I get it, I'm surely I'm going to create a video for that. Now, if, if I talk about, so I'm into my LCS environment and when you go to process, you have the business process modeler here. Okay. Now you have the different three types of libraries available. One is your global library, corporate and the project. Project library is the specific to the LCS project, which I am working on. And then you have these global libraries. So if you look at like you have a QPC, uh, and APQC process libraries available from LCS to import. But I feel like you can create your new library and that new library, I feel you can use the business process catalog to create it and use it here and you can create the test cases against that. Now, if you want to create a new library, you can simply create a a library here, uh, give a name, create it, and then you also have the option where you can sync with your, let's say, Azure DevOps. So if I go inside this and I can look at the different processes. So now here I can just have the different processes listed, which I'm going to have in my system. But if I go back to my business process modeler, let's say you don't want to use uh, anything which you have it here from the global 
you can use also import excel and then you can also even download a template in which you can import this particular library so if i just open it and just show you that how this template uh, looks like so that you are aware about this so you know this is this is your uh, template which is being created here and now you can import your process name so let's say if i want to rename this process like i want to let's say uh, purchase order process let's say I, I just want to create a purchase order okay and then also let's say I can put up create manual purchase order so I can just define this information here and as I said you possibly might want to use any of the process library you are having or you can use the standard business process catalog which Microsoft has released recently. Now let's say we will just uh, save this and then I can just import this library. So now what I will, I will give let's say my new PPC, let's say I'm just calling something and I can just import this. So I can just click on import. So now I have this. Now if I go inside this, not this one. So let's go back. So I have this. So this library is available. Now if I go back, you have also a few things here. You can say import log. You can say approve import. So you want to approve it. So I say yes, I would say. So now I have got, let's say, my library created. I have all the different processes. I can also, let's say, review this process and say that it is marked as review, right? Now, how do I import or the link the test case against this and how it get, get synced with my, if I say how it will be synced with my Azure DevOps. So I can just sync this with my Azure DevOps. And before that, what I also can do is that I can sync my whole library to the Azure DevOps. So how I do this, so I go here and I can say the sync with my new piece with the Azure DevOps. So it will be synced with the DevOps and then I can come back and I can just have this. So now if I, if you look at this, once it is synced, synced with the DevOps, you have the requirement tab and it has created the requirement in the DevOps with the purchase order process now I can just open a new tab and look at this that sorry not the requirement it has created the process in the in the DevOps so if you look at this it has uh, created this process and this is available here okay now I what I want is the objective of this video is to show you that how you can upload a a task recording file and uh, link it against this and it goes into your DevOps as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into Microsoft Dynamics 365 and let's create a small uh, task recorder for creating a purchase order. So I have logged into uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 and let's create a task recorder. So I will click on create. So let's say create PO and then I can put a new PO creation manual Okay, and then I can click on the start. So now what I can do is I can follow these steps. So I can, I need to follow the exact uh, steps. So I go to procurement and sourcing. Let's say click on the all purchase order. taking time so let me pause the video and then first create it and then uh, resume it so I have created a, a, a task recording you can see on the right hand side all your test steps are uh, or the process recording is been done so now I will just uh, stop this and what I will do is that I will just download this uh, file to my uh, system and you can also sync with your uh, what do you say sync with your uh, LCS and it will also create a process automatically when you sync this because this is also a process which you are creating 
so i will just download this so it has been downloaded now what i will do is that i will go back to my uh, uh, the the business process uh, modeler in lcs and here is my process now i want to upload this recording the axtr file against this so i will just click on the upload and i will browse my file so i have uh, uploaded the file click on upload so now the file has been uploaded against that now what i can do i can just uh, sync with the sync test cases uh, with the vsts so i will click on this sync ideally when you go to the requirement it will uh, come back here so now maybe it takes some time so i will just give a click on this refresh and then come back again and let's look at whether i have the test case so now if you see when i uploaded the process catalog it created the processes now it has also created the uh, the test id against that and that is 39 now if i go back to my process which got created in the using the import thing and this process i can also create uh, from uh, basically i can create from my recordings also so if i go back to dynamics and then uh, save it to lcs then i can do that now one important thing which i want to show you here that it has the link of this process and then it also has the test cases now the only thing if you remember from the uh, now these test cases will be created now it is very important for us that when or in which test suits or the test plan we are going to use these test cases and these test processes so now i will uh, go back let's say to my uh, azure devops now i have it here my test plan and then i have a test suites called as uh, procurement now against this i want to uh, let's say create a new uh, test case so now i want to create the new test case from the existing test cases so i can run a query and then i i will have this particular test case which is which has been created from my microsoft uh, uh, dynamics or lcs business process library and i can add this uh, so i will just select this and this has been created here right now if i go back uh, to this uh, and then i can see that all these tests which i was possibly in the previous video i was uh, uh, typing manually all those things has been added automatically by the system using the task recorder so this is how you can uh, create your test cases sync using the task recorder uh, through the business process model library and sync it with your azure devops that's it for this particular video in the next video uh, possibly is the final one for the test cases or the test phase we will be talking about the execution of the test cases and the reporting of the test cases and then we will talk about some other topic in our functional consultant series that's it for this video hope this will help you to understand the how do we manage our test plan test cases use the task recorder use the business process modeler in lcs and use it for our project thank you for watching uh, see you in the next one